back to the part two of the video so and we uh, move on to produce the auxiliary elevation we have produced the auxiliary plan as you see it here now let's look at how we can produce the auxiliary elevation to produce the auxiliary elevation we have to uh, draw a perpendicular lines to this plane which is inclined at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal it means that we have to use the 60 degree side of our cell square to produce a line of to project line from each point that we have on the plan so and that is what i'm going to do here right now so i will draw a line from this point so from this point i will draw a line okay so also from this point here so i will draw this line so from this point i will draw a line so from this point here i'll draw a line from this point i will draw a line so i will need to extend this line so i'm going to do that uh, behind you here okay so i've extended the uh the line so the next thing that we have to do is that so um we need to uh, draw horizontal line from this point so from this point we draw horizontal line and from this point we draw horizontal line then i will come here and produce a vertical line here okay like this so here i will call this point here i will call it point a so i'll call this point b and i'll call this point c so here i'm going to take my uh, says, uh my compass put it at point a extend to point b so coming so this is point a on this uh, plane x to y2 so this is point a so i'll just put it here and i will make an arc here so this is point b then from a to c now from a to c so take this distance so put it at point a and make an arc here so this, this is point c here now all right so the next thing i'm going to do is that so with my 30 degree cell square i will transfer this point to the other side so there is it okay I'll also transfer this to the other side so now that we have this in place so now so we bring in our uh, isometric view the isometric view of the object as i said that is very important for you to produce the isometric view it will help you to be able to get the auxiliary view drawn within short time okay so now let's look at what we have here so we are looking at the object in this direction the object is being viewed in this direction i'm going to see this shape i will see this shape i will see this rectangle i will see this rectangle here i see this rectangle here so those are the things that i'm going to see i will see this see this rectangle see this rectangle so those are the parts that i'm going to see so looking at it in this direction so this point this point is here this is the point and this point that we have here is here so let's first of all produce this shape that we have here then other ones will come out with is so um okay so this line is not really showing but i produced this already so this is it okay also i need to make this to be more feasible okay so let's locate the point so if i follow this line this point from here follow this line so on plane x to y2 this is the point and if i follow this one from here to here so this is the point so this will be drawn with a thick line so i'm going to make this a thick line from year to year okay a thick line from year to year so the next is that we have this line it goes from year to year it goes from what from uh, from a here to c so that is on this point so if i go like this this is the point so i'll make this a thick line from year to year this will be a thick line from year to year okay so then um so let's get this line from year to year so from year to that is from a it goes up to what to b so that is uh from this point down to this point so it's at this point here so if i go on this line it is from here so it goes up to b so this is it so we have it here like this okay then this line so it moves from here it moves from here and goes to this point so that is uh it starts from here from this point and it comes to this point here 
it's come to this point so i just need to follow this line like this so i have this point so and this point that we have here so it is from here to here so this point is on b so i'll just connect this together like this connect this together like this then so if you look at it this line so it comes down from what from c down to what down to b so that is so it's at this point it's at, it's at this point so i just need to go from here to here and i'll bring this line i'll bring it down here i believe you understand that so this we com i will complete this as a thick line so if you look at what we have here we have brought out this shape that we have here this is how it will look then um as i said that we are going to see this rectangle here this rectangle we are going to see it so where do we have it it's along this line so it start from here so that is this point so it goes up to b so and then the second point is here so from a it goes up to b so all i need to do is to make this uh, thick lines to bring out the rectangle the rectangle so this is how it's going to look in the auxiliary elevation as i'm producing it here Okay, so this is this eye to look. Then, Robert, uh, what is the next thing that we need to so we are going to see? So we are going to see this rectangle here. We are going to see this rectangle. So where is this rectangle? So where is this rectangle? Where is it located? So this is one of its points. This point, we have it here. So we have it here. So all I need to do is to go on this line. So I've already drawn the line here from here to here. So distance from here to here is what we have at this point. And then, so the second point, the second point is here. The second point is here. So that is this point that we have here. So all I need to do is to go on this line. So it start from here and it goes up. That is this time from here to here. So that is from B to what to C. So that is, this is the point. So all I need to do is to make this a thick line. And then I will join this together. Like this. Okay, so uh, we are not done. So there is a line here. As I said, that there is a line here that cannot be seen. A line like this, we have it here. It is hidden from us in the uh, in the auxiliary elevation. So we have it at this point. So following this point, so all I need to do is to draw this line with short dashes line like this to show that that part is what is hidden uh, from us. All right, so this is how the auxiliary uh, elevation will look. We have the auxiliary plan and we have the auxiliary elevation. All you need to do is to practice. When you practice it, you surely master it. And don't forget that, as I usually say, that whenever it comes to the work on auxiliary uh, views, try as much as possible to sketch the isometric view. I usually do that for me to be able to get the work done uh, instantly. So it makes it easy for me when I produce the isometric view of the object. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Don't forget to practice and God bless you.